power. We seek it, to use it, to mold it, and infused with will, so shall it be done. Today, we are talking about power and how to apply it to healing. Welcome to the Wild Witchery. My name is Heather Lynn, if we haven't met before, and I am the Wild Woodland Witch. If you're into green witchery, wild crafting, herbalism, forest witchery and crafting, make sure to subscribe, click the bell, and may I be the first to say blessings to your magic wild one. We are so happy you are here as we build this wild witch community. What you just witnessed is the crafting of my green witch salt, made of half sea salt and half ground garden. Mine is basil, mint, oregano, and rosemary. Always labeled and usually marked with a sigil. This one is a power sigil, and it's a perfect start for the tone of this video. Today, I have for you many recipes, two folk magic recipes for healing, and some tips for tapping into your own witch power. And as the vlog unfolds, I wanted to also mention that today's video is in collaboration with fellow herbalist Haley May, and I will link her information below, and video links will appear twice in this video, as Haley is providing for us two videos with a much deeper how-to recipes that Haley and I co-created. Today I am working some sigil magic in a little class via Laura tempest Sackroff, who wrote the book Sigil Magic, excellent class by the way. There are many approaches to sigil magic and it's okay to try the many different methods that exist and see what works for you and your magic. For me, I just love the letter method. I connect better to the power of sounds, so this method really works well for me. But you really have to explore and try different things to find the perfect match for you as you help your power rise. Speaking of power, how do we tap into our own? This is a big question we all ask ourselves as new witches, but it's also a question we re-ask ourselves over and over again as our practice ages and develops. By the way, has anyone told you you look amazing today? Because you do. Just a quick example of how power can simply rise just by adding some positive thoughts to your day. So let's answer this big question together throughout the vlog. My hope is that answers emerge for us both. Let's start here in the Wild Witchery Apothecary with a basic method of helping our witch power rise, planning for it. I'm a huge fan of tapping into spontaneous spells and moving energy randomly, following my intuition, but when it comes to healing through plant medicine, making herbal oils just simply takes time. These will sit for four to six weeks and are both part of two later recipes we will get into. I use moon phases for my oils and typically start oils on a new moon. The oils go through a full moon cycle, meaning four weeks, and sometimes need to be strained during the waning crescent moon. She is my favorite moon phase. But you can make oils anytime during any moon phase. So here's a spell for letting your power rise to meet the process of healing. And we shall craft a candle and cauldron spell for movement of energy, which could be used for healing an illness. This kind of spell is usually performed either as an illness is forming or after a fever has broken. We are using snake skin that was a gift from Megan from the Witch's Cauldron here on YouTube. Thanks girl. In my cauldron is a charcoal disc, and I am using coffee to send fast movement, which can be used for moving through an illness on the faster side, speeding up that healing process. And rosemary for a mellowing effect just to balance the coffee out so it's not so intense. The snake skin is present here as witness, but I also burned a tiny little piece to bring that energy into the spell. Snake skin is all about transformation. I am using five crystals in this spell work and some anointing oil with plenty of incantations arriving in waves of three. 
and I use my hands in waves of three too, working with the smoke coming off of the cauldron because this feels really powerful to me. Numbers in spell work are a big part of my practice. I have some affirmations that I also crafted to say each day through the illness, and I also would not recommend doing this kind of spell when you are actually in the depth of healing for many reasons, but mainly due to the smoke. But you could omit burning and use the cream instead as you saw me craft. This is actually the body butter we are going to make coming up soon. But let's get into the power we can find so easily in our kitchens. For most acute illnesses, these two folk magic practices will be excellent. Remembering that power is found in information, practicing and then perfecting by applying that information as a witch, this folk magic technique has been practiced for generations. While our ancestors believed that onions could pull evil spirits out of the air and illnesses from the air too, we now know that at least on the illness level, it is not affected by onions. But this practice has a power all to its own because the witches that came before us practiced this. And I love the energetic connections to both ancestors and folk magic practitioners. So I lay out onions, cut up to absorb the negative energy, and I imagine the illness dying off and being caught in the onion. My favorite part is throwing it away and saying goodbye. This may be a trick of the mind, but it's powerful nevertheless. Internally, honey, garlic, lemon, and ginger is a dynamic force that is very healing for the body for colds and flus. So I make this and keep it in the fridge. I eat somewhere between three to four cloves of garlic a day, two to three tablespoons of honey, and about the same volume of fresh ginger as the garlic cloves. I consume the juice of one to two lemons a day as well. Imagining the wise witches who have come before me making this potion. Ugh, I just love this image. And this can bring in such power, power that has been long forgotten, especially as solitary witches. And I think this tip of visualizing all of the spirits who are wanting to help us in this healing, this is special magic indeed. Gang's all here. Our witch's mind is power. And a tip I will share here as we take a walk to breathe in the fresh air, which is proven to help with all aspects of healing, is to think of your power as half of yours and half of the elements you work with. So for me, the moon, the plants, the water, and the sun are important to connect with. And once we combine the forces of nature with the power of our witch mind, I mean, that is truly where power is born as a witch. And this pine, she is mighty. Whew. <laughs> I just feel fox energy right now. Whew. It's probably from the red hat. The lighting is just amazing. Are you seeing this? Oh, pine. Pine is probably my favorite plant. I think it's a close second to mint. Huh. Let me know what your favorite plant is in the comments. I feel like plants really say a lot about us and our favorites say a lot about us. I would just be interested to know if you've been hanging around my channel, which if you have been, thank you. I love sharing my life. I love sharing my joy when it comes to plants and specifically the forest. So I am called to make an infused oil with her as you see me doing here. Infused oils are awesome. And I think of them as potions to bring those elements into a usable form. So I may use these oils for anointing candles, making salves, externally, internally. I may just use an oil to make a pure medicine without any witchery at all because I need the physical benefits, but often I am magically infusing my medicine too. It matters not if you do both or just one, just that you find what works for you in your practice. 
I will be providing more how-to style videos here and there in the future, but I recommend finding someone who has simple and easy to follow recipes that may inspire your practice on a more practical level. I watch Haley's videos all the time, and sometimes you will see my practice in a vlog form, and Haley will have just done a how-to of a craft or an infused oil. So I wanted to encourage you to click the links on the next two recipes and see how you can make them. Even save the videos for later use, but that is certainly a tip I wanted to offer because super simple videos can be really helpful and Haley is just awesome. Recently, I had the flu and I was sick for about three weeks with the majority of the symptoms. It was pretty bad, not gonna lie, but I healed with some of these practices and several others. I was on a strict regimen of teas and tinctures every two hours, and if you click the link above, which will appear soon after this video has posted, that will take you to my video on how to make your own flu box so you can prepare as I was certainly not. I crafted this box in week three of my illness because each of the tea tins actually goes with the specific symptoms for any kind of flu for 10 days. This salve is called the Garden Glow Mint Salve. The herbal oil is a base of avocado and the plant energies that sat within infusing were mint, chamomile, and the leaves of the cannabis plant. This combo is perfect for drawing energy down and dulling pain. Haley and I designed it for tired feet as a end of the day foot rub cream. My feet hurt after being on them all day as a teacher so this salve is both nourishing via beeswax and calming too. Little bits of me time can be a blessing and taking the time for oneself helps the inner cauldron of power stay a boiling. Next, onto some body butter, designed for right before bed or right before relaxing. Have you explored the benefits of lemon balm? I love her for calming and diminishing anxiety. Body butter is a bit more expensive to make and more time consuming, as you need to wait a full hour before you can whip it, but it's a little slice of luxury and easier to make than you think. You can also infuse your body butter not only with nourishing ingredients for the skin, but intentions too. And so, I leave you wild ones with a message you hear from me most often, but perhaps more in depth for this video. May your witch power rise, and time appear for learning to fuel that rise. If you are healing or someone you love is healing, May you find the practices and tools you need for the journey ahead. May your magic be blessed, and come and find me again.